Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kim, a fairly average mum, and today I've got an H&M haul with a try on. So let's get cracking. Hiya, so I decided to do um, an H&M shop. Normally I go into the shop, I just decided I'd have a little go on the website and see what I could get. Um, so it arrived anyway, so I'll show you what I got. Put my gigs on. I'm slightly more tanned on my face because while I was walking to and from work today, the sun were hitting me. So yeah, I, I'm feeling very hot in the face. So anyway, I'll show you what I got. So first I bought these trousers. Now they're um, a, like a linen mix. I'm gonna have to put the prices on the screen though because they don't uh, tend to have them when you buy them online. But anyway, they're quite creasy like you'd expect with a linen mix. But I just really liked them. I bought a few different tops to see whether they, it would work out with them. They're a straight leg, you know, quite a wide leg. Are they called palazzo pants then? Maybe. Anyway, they've got these pockets with a lined pocket bit and then they're just elastic around the waist but um quite a wide waistband as well i'm really hoping that one of the tops works out with us i bought quite a few neutral things you know um i don't tend to go for neutrals but i saw loads on the website and thought i'd give it a go so anyway i got that one then I bought this little top. Now, this is the one one of the ones that I'm hoping might work out with those trousers, but I'm not sure. You know, I, I, they're all, it's always a risk when I go shopping, you know what I mean? <laughs> because half the time I end up buying stuff that don't suit me at all, but um, I'm trying to get better at it. Anyway, for those of you that don't know, I'm uh, five foot eight, and at the moment I'm about a 14, more or less. Some tops, I'm a 12, but bottoms, definitely a 14. Anyway, I bought this little top. It's a, It's got this spotty detail all over it. And it, I think it's also a linen mix. Yeah, naturally linen, um, a natural linen. So it's a, like a vest camisole type top um, with these little frill details on the top. It's a V little V front bit. And at the back, it's got some elastic sort of all shearing down back. Um, now, the only problem with these sort of tops is if they're not, if they're too big, because I've got a very small bust and a big middle, right? I'm very straight up and down. That's only got worse as I've got older. So it, it's always a bit hit and miss with tops like this, whether they're going to be just like massive on my chest or, or too tight around my middle or what have you. But anyway, I'll give it a go. Keep my fingers crossed for it. So the trousers I bought in a large... And this top, what size did I buy this in? I bought this in a large and this was $17.99. So then I bought this top and it feels really nice and out of unbagged it, you know. It's sort of a knit, but it feels quite like summer type knit, you know, like a cotton mix or summer. Anyway, um, I bought this in a size large it's got a little collar thing, but it's very low sort of V-neck at the front and it's straight down. It looks like it's going to be a bit oversized on me, but that's what I was hoping for, really. Now, they had this in different colours and I bought it to go with these, which they had in the same colour, but I decided to go for two different tones just because I didn't want to look like I wear my pyjamas, you know. Anyway, I bought these in a size large don't say it price, I'll put it on the screen, but it's just a pair of shorts. They're in exactly the same knit as that top. And they've got an elastic around the uh, waist, but you can also gather them up. So great, if they're too big for me, I can gather them up. But if they're too small, that elastic will be a bit forgiving, you know, because I never know, you know, some places, you think you're one size. When they come, you realise actually you're not. You're in a different size, either bigger or smaller than you thought. So anyway, got those. That I love this colour. And I think it's going to look really nice with those, with that top as well. 
And then to go with the trousers, I also bought this one, but this is looking incredibly small. I bought this in a size 12, wish I'd gone for the 14 really, because it does look like there's no way that's going to fit me. But I really liked it. It was $12.99. It's got these little fake tortoiseshell buttons down the front. It's a V front and they actually open their real buttons. And it's just got this little like extra bit that's like pleated on. It's not a frill so much as, you know, it's pleated. But this is also in linen. So I'm hoping that one of the tops goes with those trousers, you know. Anyway, then I bought a pair of, um, what are they called? Dungarees. That's what they're called. Uh, I bought them in a large, he say 50% uh, tensile and 43% viscose. They feel really nice. Um, they've got like a V front and a V back. They've got a tied bit on the shoulder, which is helpful because if they're too long, you can pull them up. If they're too short, you can let them out again. Um, and then it's straight down the front into really wide legged trouser bottom bits. Now the top looks really like the bodice bit of it looks like it's going to be really long, but I don't mind that. I really liked them. Um, I thought they'd be really nice in the summer. They'd feel quite cooling. And I deliberately bought them in this darker colour. They did have a lighter one as well. But I went for a darker one. I think because it's like an all-in-one thing. I didn't want to look like Andy Pandy, you know. So I thought the darker might be a bit less like that. Anyway, next I bought a couple of dresses. This one feels lovely though. Now I've got it out of the bag. It's so nice. I didn't realise it was going to be this satiny material. It's um, a, quite a long dress. It's got a V. That's the back, Kim. <laughs> There's the front, right? So it's got a V front and a V back. It's straight down, but then it's got this single frill round it. It looks like it might be midi length on me. And I bought it in a size large. I think I was just buying everything in large, apart from the top, which could have done with being a bit bigger. You know, I could have done with a 14 in that. But anyway, um, we'll see what they look like on. It feels so nice, this. I love the colour of it. It's like, um, it's like a, it's sort of a buttery cream colour. But the fabric is just, feels so lovely and soft and satiny. Um, very happy with that. I'm hoping that looks nice on. Then I bought a yellow dress because I, I love yellow. I, and I've discovered this as I've got older. Right, this I bought. I bought this in a large. Um, like I say, I'll put all prices on the screen. It's a, another long dress. But it's... All it is, is like at the top, it's this V-neck with these, this frill round it. And I love this jazzy yellow colour. I don't mind that. And But then it goes really sort of straight down and out, you know, so it's shaped out rather than gathered to go out. At the back, it's also, it's got um, the frill bits coming down, but then it's straight across with a bit of elastic here. So um, I'm... I'm not so sure about the volume of that. That looks very wide at the bottom, but I'm prepared to give it a go. It's in like, um, feels like a poly cotton material. So perhaps not so creasy as if it were just cotton. Then I bought a blazer because it wouldn't be a haul from Kim if I didn't have a blazer in here somewhere, would it? Now, I realised that this were oversized, but not as oversized as it is. I only bought it in a medium. It looks like it's going to be really oversized. It's got like it's sleeves that go narrower as they go down, long sleeves. It's got a shaped lapel, no shoulder pads, so it's very lightweight. And then it's got a couple of these fake tortoiseshell buttons. Are they fake pockets or real pockets? No, I think they're fake. Um, but anyway, I don't mind that. And it looks quite oversized. You'll see on the try-on anyway, it does look very oversized. But I I, I wanted, I, I bought um, a jacket from Primark. And uh, and I I also ordered this at around about the same time as I bought that 
because I were determined to find a cream jacket. Now, the one I got from Primark, which the haul will already be up, were too small on me. I just bought it in too small of a size. I should have bought the 14, I bought the 12. This one, on the other hand, is definitely going to fit, and I'm going to have loads of room in it as well. And it might be more, it, it might be looser, which was the look I were really going for when I ordered this and bought the other one. Um, so I'm hoping that this one might be a bit better fit on me. But that's everything in my H&M haul, so I'll insert the try on now. Okay, so this is the first outfit from H&M. Now, I, I'm not sure about either of these. I don't know what the trousers look like. I feel like I'm wearing a dishcloth. They're so creased up. They're also, they've got, because they've got pockets and everything, they've got quite a lot of fabric round here. They're quite big round here. And they, I think it's adding to, I feel like I'm wearing a nappy. Look at this, honestly. Is this looking like I am? I don't know, what does that look like on me? I don't feel like it looks very attractive. The top, I have no idea how I'm supposed to wear this top because the straps are so long that in order to be able to wear it, I'd have to pull it down so that my boobs would be hanging out, what little boobs I've got. So, um, and I, I feel like the size is the right size. I'll show you the back. Now, if the straps are supposed to be down like that, I thought they were for a while, but it pulls this down here. So are they supposed to be down? If they are, sadly, I wouldn't want to wear them because it, if you'd be able to see my bra straps and I wouldn't want to go without a bra. Perhaps it looks better with them down. I suppose with a very pretty bra strap, it might be all right. You could wear like a triangle bra with, um, you know, a quite delicate strap. Not this nude t-shirt style bra that I'm wearing. But please let me know what you think of both of these. I don't feel like it's the most flattering outfit I've ever had on. You know, that's the truth. But I, I, I prefer the top with the straps down like this. But like I say, I would want to wear it with a very pretty, you know, bra strap. And as it's wet, as I'm wearing it, it is coming even further down, you know. I better push them up because otherwise I'm going to be like chucked off YouTube, flashing my boobs. So, yeah. So not sure about, I'm definitely not happy about the top and not sure about the trousers. They're very long. I can imagine they'd be incredibly cool because they are sort of a linen mix. But um, I'm not sure that they're that flattering on me. I'm gonna try the uh, linen, the black linen top on with them though. This black top is too small for me. It feels like even at it's pulling across the buttons here. Now, in a bigger size, I think it might be a very, very nice top. You know, if it if it actually fit me, it might be very nice, but it doesn't. So it's sort of clinging to all my lumps and bumps. And look here, can you see how it's pulling where the buttons are? So wish I'd sized up in this, um, because I can't really get um, a clear idea of how this would look together. I think it goes a heck of a lot to, more together than the last top. But um, let me know whether you think I ought to size up in this. Because I would definitely need to size up one size, maybe two, you know. So, because I've got big ribs, you know, as well as a big tummy. So, it's whether, you know, I mean, I would definitely need one or two sizes up in this. But let me know whether you think it's worth me doing that, please. Right, I'll try some of the other outfits on. Okay, I've put this jacket on over the top just because I was struggling to think of what else I could put the jacket on over. But it is absolutely huge. Really, really big. I don't know whether I really like it though, you know. I actually quite like it. Not over this outfit, I think. You know, over a pair of skinny jeans or jeggings, 
a little camisole top. It might look quite nice. Does it look more like a lab coat though? That's what I always worry about these things. Or a paint as overall. But if you can imagine it over something, you know, a pair of like dark skinny jeans and a little black top. I think it might look quite nice. Feels really comfortable, but it is incredibly oversized. If you see, you know, it's supposed to be oversized. But, um, yeah, I quite like it. But I'm aware that sometimes I like things that look pants. So please let me know what you think. I do like it though. I like it an awful lot. When I first put it on, I wasn't sure, but actually the more I've got it on, the more comfortable I feel in it. And I could imagine wearing it to go out in, you know, just slinging it on over the top. I've got loads of blazers that I do this with. So blazers I love. And like I say, not over this outfit. But yeah, I do like it an awful lot. This is my favourite thing I've tried on so far. <laughs> but it might be the worst thing I've tried on so far. <laughs> You know, do it look like a dressing gown or Andy Pandy? Do I look like Andy Pandy? You know, in my oversized clothes. Do I just need a bonnet and then I'm good to go? Anyway, I'll try some of the other outfits. Okay, I, I put this on, not intending to show you over these pants, but I actually like these together. I think this goes a whole lot better with these pants than anything I've tried on so far. I actually quite like it. Feels really cooling, very summery, relaxed. You know, don't matter that the um, trousers are creased up because the top's never going to crease because it's a fine knit. I'll just show you. So that's the, can you see that? The fine knit on it. And it, I, I think this actually looks quite nice together. I don't mind this. Feel very comfortable in it. This is my favourite set that I've put on so far. It's kind of a, a leisure suit, but in a, you know, a more grown up way, I think, perhaps. Yeah, I like it a lot. I like them both. When I put them on together, I like them both. So I'm just going to try the little shorts on that I got to go with this top. But actually, in all honesty, I might keep this to go together because I do like it. So I'll try the shorts on anyway. These are little shorts. Now this, you could get matching ones of these. So you could actually get a matching, the matching color together. So you'd either get it all in beige or all in this sort of a mushroomy, you know, taupey brown color. And um, I deliberately got it in two different colors because I wanted it to be in two different colors. Now the trousers, the shorts are very big. But you can, as this drawstring, yeah, you can do the drawstring. And I don't mind that they're very big because it gives me more fabric around my leg. And because they are quite short, I would want them to be loose. I wouldn't want to be wearing anything short and tight. So I actually quite like both of these. And I like them together. I'm very surprised that I like this outfit as much as I do and I think this top would like I, I possibly might buy this in another colour as well to go so that I could wear one with the shorts and another with the the trousers I just think they're so like relaxed and casual but are they too short in the legs for me you know I am only going to be in this country I like them very much though they're so comfortable and they feel like they're going to be quite cool as well because they're not nothing is clinging, nothing's too tight. Really, really like these. But please let me know what you think. Because like I always say, I'm aware that sometimes I like things that look dreadful. Okay, so this is the first dress. This is so comfortable. I, the material is so soft and silky and feels like it's much more um, dressy than the design, perhaps. I'll just show you the side and the back. I actually really like this. 
Um, yeah, I really, really like this fabric. I love this. The gather on here. I don't mind that it's oversized because it feels like, you know, it is, uh, it's intended to be oversized. Absolutely love this buttery cream colour. Like I said, absolutely adore the fabric. It's beautiful fabric. Feels like a much more expensive dress than you would get from an H&M. It feels really nice. I'm aware it's quite shapeless. But I think, it, I just love the fabric so much. Absolutely love this. Yeah, really, really love it. It's very long. Um, I love the crease on it as well. You know, that it's not completely um, straight and ironed. Love that it's all creased up, especially the gather around the bottom. I really love this. But let me know what you think, please. Well, I hope everybody likes this one because I absolutely love it. I'm really loving some of these clothes from H&M. I'm going to try the yellow one on. That might be where it all takes a dive. <laughs> okay, so this is the yellow one. Now, this just feels... I love this bit around the top. I actually really like this V with the frill. But, um, and that's the back. It's very low at the back probably see my bra strap to be honest but um I'm just not sure that it's just you know just a bit sort of shapeless after that the top's beautiful but I just don't know about the bottom and also I'm aware that it might be see-through I'm hoping I don't have to blur this bit out in editing um yeah like I say I absolutely love this top but I just wish there were a little bit of detail lower down, you know, or it was shorter. If it was shorter, then, you know, that it wouldn't matter that it was very plain at the bottom. I'm just aware that there's yards of fabric around the bottom and no detail at all. But I, do, I mean, honestly, I have tried on significantly less flattering outfits from other places that cost a heck of a lot more. So... You know, it's not bad. It's just, is it very see-through? Can you see me knickers through it? Is what I'm saying. Or worse than that, can you see me tummy? You know, because that's the bit I don't really want people to see. And I'm wearing nude underwear, so, you know. Yeah. Let me know what you think, please. Like I say, I absolutely love this top bit. Absolutely love it. I think this detail, the V... Although you can see my bra a little bit. The V and then it going into this frill on the shoulders is really pretty. Like the back. But um, yeah, not sure about all this. It's very voluminous. Voluminous is what I'm saying. But yeah. Right, I'll try on the last uh, outfit, which is the jumpsuit. See how we go with that one. Okay. This is the jumpsuit. I don't, it's got threads on it. I don't mind it, but um, this um, belt that's supposed to be pulled in, the last thing I would do would be pull that in because that is going to emphasise the fact I don't have any waist, which is not ideal for me. So I might tie it at the back and just leave it loose. Um, I actually really like the top. Don't mind this at all. This really deep V is actually quite nice. Um, yeah, I quite like it. You know, I love that it's sort of all the way down here before it meets, you know. So it's got a very long body. And then it goes all the way to there. Show you the back. Don't mind that actually really comfortable and like uh, really floaty loose and uh, you could wear it in literally any heat you'd be fine in this even though it's a dark color just because it's so loose that it's um you know the air would circulate and give you lots of you know make you feel quite cool so quite like it you know
could imagine it with a little pair of flip-flops or sandals, quite flat. Um, but is it quite shapeless? Is it doing anything for me? Don't mind it at all though. Could imagine this with a little jacket over the top and I'd be good to go. I don't feel conscious about my middle bit. Even if you can see it, I actually don't feel conscious about it. And that's unusual, really. So they're quite long in the leg. In fact, lovely and long. They go all the way down to the top of my foot. So, you know, if you had any shorter, if you were any shorter than me in this, it could possibly be on the floor. So, but anyway, I absolutely love it. Do you know what? This has been my favourite H&M haul I've had ever. So I'm very, very happy with quite a lot of these clothes. So, fantastic. Okay, so I've got them piled up here now on top of me. So I'll go through what I thought. These trousers, once I've got the right top on with them, I think they're really nice. I can imagine them being quite dressy. You could dress them up. with, the, And I would wear them with that top. I do love them so much. I'm hoping other people like them. Obviously not with the vest tops because I looked ridiculous with that outfit on. But with this, I think, you know, with the other top, I think these could work out for me. I think that's the way I would wear them, you know, with that knit, sort of cottony knit over the top. So I'm hoping people like them because I'd, be, I'd quite like to keep those. The vest tops are a no from me. I just don't have the bust and I don't have a small enough waist to wear these, I think. These sort of fitted straight down tops really emphasise my lack of bust and my lack of waist, for want of a better phrase, really. So I think they'll have to go back. But let me know what you think. This top with those... Um, linen trousers i think is a really nice outfit i know they're both beige together and i don't normally go for beige in all honesty because people reckoned it didn't suit me so much but i just absolutely loved it you know that combination of a knit and those trousers i really loved so i'm hoping people you know forgive me for the fact that i actually <laughs> do want to keep that one the shorts i also really liked i'd be tempted to buy the top in these in this colour so that I could wear the beige top maybe with these and the this colour top with those linen trousers because I think that might mix it up a bit as well. And I'd be able to swap and change between them. So I love that. Now, I love the jacket, but I, I know that I, I could look like, you know, I'm... I'm putting my overalls on to go out painting and decorating but I think with a pair of skinnies or jeggings or something like that and a quite fitted like t-shirty top this might be all right for me I might be able to get this to work for me but I do know that sometimes I like to wear something that looks a bit tenty on me and hide inside it. So that could be really what I'm doing with it. So please, advice is needed on that. Save me from myself if I'm actually just buying it to hide in. The dresses, um, I liked both of these dresses, you know. And um, this one just felt like they were a bit too much fabric. And I might be tempted to size down in it to a medium. Um, because I think a medium would fit me in this, you know. Um, yeah, I do like it. I love that frill detail around the top. And I think if you had a bigger bust as well, it'd look fantastic. So I'd look out for it, you know. If you've got, if you've got assets you're proud of. I don't, so, um, but even on me, I quite liked it. Might size down, but I did like it. This, I know it's a beige dress, but the feel of it is so nice. And I think with a little jacket on over the top, I think I could make this work for me as well. But again, I'm aware that it might be, I'm hiding in a tent. So please let me know what you think about that. And I really love these as well, but same as before. Am I just hiding out in them? I, but I did love them. I love the fact that they were meeting sort of almost to the knees. 
um and that there were that he had quite a lot of fabric in them i could imagine with a little pair of sandals on and they'd be really really nice for going out in those you know like if i were going out through a day but wouldn't mind if i'd met up with somebody to go for a drink um but yeah do i look like andy pandy and um you know that that's always my fear with um dungarees that i do look a bit andy pandy in them so but i really liked him i liked how they felt you know and that's all my clothes so that's everything for today if you've liked this video please give us a like it really helps us out and if you like this kind of content you might want to consider subscribing i've left all my contact details in the description box in case you want to contact me for any reason but thank you very much for taking a few moments out of your day to spend with me bye